All right, so listen. We're here. I'm not for some reason. Hey. So I did it. I did what I said I was going to do yesterday. I spent I was up until like 3:30, 4 o'clock last night playing a whole bunch of Hanafuda and then just grinding Dyson Cube. And I've got it down to. There was some funny dialogue that I'm kind of sad you guys missed, but nothing really big. Um, I've got it down to. The last strong rival, which is, in fact, actually the dude standing over there. It's the guy running the shop. I figured that would be a fun. Uh, I figured that'd be a fun way to to finish things. I beat Kaito. I beat Higashi. I beat Sugiura. I beat Ryan first. I beat this guy and this guy who are apparently side quest dudes from Judgment One. I don't think I did their side quests. Um, so I didn't really remember. There was a fun fourth wall breaking bit on this guy. Where it was like, oh yeah, he, uh, you know, his, uh, he was a good fighter, but he was kind of like nondescript. Even his character modeler said that he looked generic. And I was like, okay, they're going there. So. I've also made a lot of money because Dyson Cube makes you a lot of money. So I've got like 4 million yen now. This, if I've calculated this correctly, this should be the last Dyson Cube we have to play as long as we win, which we should. And then when that's done, this side quest will be over and we can move on. I'm going to try to find the other four side quests and do those and then we will finish the game and that'll be the stream. <sighs> JJ, this is a lot of things. Um, so the game's called Lost Judgment, but this is a mini game containing other mini games within the game. I don't know if you've been around while I played any of the Yakuza games, but this is a spin off of Yakuza. It came out a few months ago. I have been playing it. Fairly consistently. Okay. I've been playing it fairly consistently since it came out. Um, I've got roughly 100 hours into it now, and I think I am finally ready to actually finish it. Feels rigged. Okay, you know that much. Um, yeah, so this is the VR mini game within Lost Judgment. And there is a side case attached to it in which. Ow. 
anyway, there's a mini game where you basically play a board game in VR and you can do fights or lock picking or parkour or any number of other mini games. And there's a side case uh, locked behind beating all of the rivals in that game. So I'm doing that now. Even though I don't find it like I, this is fine, and I guess maybe the the medium course would be uh, the medium course might be more interesting, or some of the other courses. I don't care that much about it. I just want to get through it. Like. Like, I think part of the reason it's not that interesting is because the, um... This course is obviously meant to, like, have all the minigames and everything set on easy. So there's no real challenge involved. I learned from playing this a bunch that it doesn't actually matter if those things hit you. Yeah, it's a bunch of the normal gameplay stuff repackaged and it's the easiest, most straightforward and uncomplicated version of those things. Like this is just literally just, I'm just holding up in circle. Literally, Alpiner has more nuance than this. At least in Alpiner, you have to actually dodge the things. But the game says that you have to do all of them to get a side case to be done. So that's what we're going to do. Now, I don't really know that much about the remaining side cases. There could be some that are actually really big and time consuming. And if that's the case, then we'll probably have to wait and carry over to finish tomorrow. And I'm fine with that. I'm not going to force it. Um, there is. There is a very, very real possibility of us not finishing this, even though I want to. There's also the there's also the possibility that um If the uh, if the situation presents itself, I guess we'll do a fight. If the situation presents itself, I may Is the soundboard off again? It is. Weird. The OAuth token didn't even uh, didn't even expire. I bet it's because of the AWS issues lately. It should be it should be back on in a second here. I left I I generally have been keeping it open between streams because if I just keep it open in the background, then I can't forget to reopen it. But the last couple of days, it's actually been disconnecting itself. Again with the coconuts. There you go. Remember that time I made my wife play Bubsy and Sonic 2 because I love her? All right, listen. That's enough out of you. Cool the fuck down.
I like to think that everyone in this everyone in this game is made of instant matter, like crosscode. So you throw him in the water, and he just like he just dissolves and then rematerializes. Did he just? Did he just skip my damn turn? Um. I don't remember what the chowder thing is, but it might be this? I don't remember if that's what that show is or not. That is, uh, that is part of an era of cartoons that I very much missed. Damn, everything's a fighting space. By the way, I'm not refusing to use my, uh, my skill points. There's one particular thing that I want to use, like, specifically. Is that a goddamn shotgun? Is that a grenade? Yes. Yeah, no, we're not having that, thanks very much. Okay, I'm gonna need you to... That's also a grenade. Y'all need... Ow. All right. Note to self, don't taunt people with grenades. I mean, that's not unlike an instant matter explosion. One thing that I do want to do before we're out of here, there is a way to do like a literal Hadouken. And I don't, I, I've unlocked it. And I don't know how to use it. And I can't go in and look at my menu to find out here. I'm gonna look it up, cause I wanna, if this is gonna be the last time we're gonna see it, I mean like, Skill points that way. Go the other way. Yeah, that's fine. Yes. By the way, I did find all of the unlimited play passes. So, even though it won't really come up, I can now play this all I want yes. unlimited, which basically makes this a bottomless well of cash. can't figure out how to do it. So I guess we'll just have to win. Demon. 
No, actually, we're gonna land one short. And one short. Just seriously, just fights on just fights on everything. Every space. Okay, seriously. Lost, judgment, move list. This is like the last opportunity that we're gonna actually have. If we don't see it now, we're not gonna see it. I bet it involves EX. But I don't wanna Dyson Cube, Dyson Cube. Wait, while holding a rail gun? What do you mean while holding a... I mean, all right, that's not what I wanted, but it was pretty cool too, I guess. Fine. It's fine. RGG has a really bad habit of putting moves in their games that are like only applicable in the most like ridiculously narrow of circumstances and the move can be really cool the move can be really cool but it's like this is literally like oh yeah spend 20,000 XP to unlock this move this move is only available in Dyson Cube while holding a certain rare item. It's like, okay, so never. Never. We'll never see it. Thanks. That's perfect. Appreciate it. So anyway, we made, we made like... We spent 15 minutes in VR and made about $7,500. So that's cool. Thank you for playing Dice Cube. We hope to see you again. Please come back. Yeah, so I've got like five and a half million yen now. Hey, look, it's the guy we just beat in Dyson Cube. <laughs> Hot damn! Can't believe you defeated Virtual Me Too. I'll admit, I didn't expect to see the producer himself in the game. Come on, I'm the most badass character there is. You have a badass attitude, I'll give you that. You're the first all golden Yakuza, ex Yakuza I've ever seen. But I guess you're an average citizen decked out in Yakuza bling. Huh? I ain't no average citizen. 
You saying I'm a nobody unless I'm with a family? Nah, I just feel like the old Tashiro Kun had, had something to fight for, something to set him apart. Maybe you should try something new. Create the next wave of fashion. Try painting in the shadows on your body, then show off with a backless shirt. Dude, that shit ain't fashion. That's just goddamn nonsense. Besides, I already got a new outfit. These threads I'm rocking right now? Custom Italian fabric, baby. Custom, huh? But that wasn't cheap. Damn right it ain't cheap. Shit cost me three fucking mil for the set. Eh? Three million yen? It's a pays to be a producer. No, it pays pretty average. I'm actually making monthly payments on these. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here with your red center track jacket. Three million is still pretty hefty, even broken up month to month. Yeah, well, the power of fashion compelled me. I'll do anything for the sake of fashion, man. <laughs> That's right. That's goddamn $26,000 gold track jacket that he is renting to own. Here's something else, Yagami. I can't believe you took down every single rival in the game. Yeah. Gonna walk down memory lane, that's for sure. Tashiro, you ass! I can't believe you stole my assets for some stupid game. Oh, hey, here's... What is Ryan doing here? He doesn't give a shit. And also, get the fuck out, Ryan. Oh, uh, shit, how'd you find out? I've heard rumors of a particularly suave caned warrior appearing, appearing in a virtual arcade. And upon tracing the rumors to their source, I pieced together your scheme rather quickly. I must say my fans will be quite upset at what you've done. You don't have fucking fans. Uh, hey, for the record, I'm not mad. Actually, I'm honored to be part of the gang. And there's nothing really special about me. You got me, you can't, you got me, you guys remember me, right? Can't hit this? I don't, actually. Huh. Wait, was that a catchphrase just now? You're sick, Tashiro. Not only do you copy my image, but now you're spreading lies about me. Split personalities, how tasteless. What? You made that up? Yeah, he did make up a thing about some dude from the from the previous game having split personalities and like two people being like the same person. It's the truth. One time Masashi spilled ramen on his suit and moments later the same stain showed up on Ryo. How's that not proof? I suppose it's only natural for a celebrity like me to attract such scandalous rumors. Not all of them are false though. So was it a lie or not? I will leave that to your imagination. The stories of living legends are different depending on the narrator. Someday I'll be more than mere legend. I'll be a god. A blasphemous existence etched into the hearts and minds of millions. Again, this dude apparently showed up in the first judgment and I don't remember him at all. So I, I don't know what's happening. Master Tashiro, I believe you owe me tribute as well. I recognize those voice assets you stole. You recorded them during our phone call. Bro, I was broke. Besides, I thought I was getting a friend discount. I remember saying no such thing. So you deny your guilt at every turn. Very well, we shall repay you in kind. Was that post on Twitter you made about a pair of custom made designer brand clothing? Perhaps they will fetch a good price at the pawn shop. What? Oh, it's like a scene from a samurai drama. We, the vengeful warriors, will strip you down and strike you at the crossroads. Oh, I just thought of something. Maybe wearing your clothes will help me stand out. No, you can't do that. No. But they can. And they did. Let us 
make haste to Abby Sue Pond. And after that, we can drink our fill with the money we've earned. Earned. I mean, it is their likeness. Then we can all flesh out my character by exchanging some choice try and hit me puns. Hey, I thought you were still making payments on those. The ballpark of like three million. Well, there's not much I can do to assure you, but you'll get through this somehow. I'm ruined. All right, well. The moral of the story is, um, don't steal the likenesses of people you know, profit off them in a video game, and then use the money to buy a $30,000 tracksuit that sucks. I'm running that back in my head and realizing that I may have said 30 million. I don't know if I said $30,000 or 30 million yen or $30 million. But two of those incorrect, or two of those are correct and one of them is not. All right. So that's been sitting on my map for like months now and it's finally gone. And the payoff is not particularly worth it. Oh, shit. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I want no part of that fight right now. So we're headed back to Yokohama 99, which will advance the plot slightly but it's also the home base I need to get to two of the remaining four side quests, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I know where the th where a third is, and the fourth, I'm really not sure. Oh yeah, remember that time when you got me, got caught in a bomb on a boat? He's like, yeah, that was cool. さすがカムロ町の探偵。よう、北野田坊。こっちは桑名の居所を町で聞いてきた。桑名が帰る。収穫は。桑名が帰る。桑名が帰る。桑名が帰る。桑名が帰る。桑名が帰る。桑名が
Everyone believes in their own justice. Kuanawakoani <laughs> なんだか振り出しにもたらない。浮かばれない誰かもいる。そんなの<笑> Oh, by the way, we didn't really talk about it, but uh, hey, Tsukumo, the guy who busted your pinky finger, he's dead now. So. I don't know if that, uh, I don't know if that helps at all. All right, how are the jobs looking right now? My first errand. My son wants to go out on his first errand on his own, but I'm so worried about what might happen to him. I'd follow him if I could, but he made it absolutely clear that I'm not allowed. If I do it anyway and he catches me, he might resent me for it. That's why I'd like you, the professional, t the professional tailor, to watch over him in my place. We can discuss the details over at Wet Kitchen if you're interested. My apologies if you're busy, but I do appreciate your considering this job. Calling it now, the son running his first errand is going to be about 35 years old. Off we go. And boom goes the dynamo. You know, I initially thought that we were going to like max out all of these skills, no problem. And now here we are in endgame and we're gonna be close, but not quite. Uh, here. Pretty much no avoiding this. I want that and that and whoops. Hey. Oh, the, oh, the spine punch. Oh. 
That one's not even that special. Like, that's a totally normal thing that could happen to you and you would not probably die from it. Like, you could die from it, but it's not like a... Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. I kind of need to actually... All right, quit it. Shit. Well, as long as we've gone this far. Fine. Pepsi Man is always a good... That's always a good one. You don't have to do this! But you did. Why did the windows break after... Hey, could I get a number seven? I... Can? I'm all right. I'm not going to lie. I didn't really want one. I just wanted you to tell me no in a way that was amusing. But I guess I'll just go upstairs and meet my meet my client. Yes, hello. Hello, Amigami here on behalf of Yokohama 99. I reached out to you. Pleasure is all mine. If I remember you right, you want someone to watch over your son while he's out on the town. Yes, that's correct. All right. Our son Toru turned five. Just okay. He's not 35. He's just five. Ah, Omerito. Thank you. After a long debate with our son, we finally came to the agreement. When you turn five, you can go out on your own like a big boy. Looks like our stalling tactics blown up in our faces. Sending him out already. They sure do grow up fast. This is a big milestone for the little guy. It sure is. My wife and I originally planned to watch from behind as he walked down the block on an errand. But our son's taken the terms of our agreement much more seriously. Mm hmm. He says if we follow him, he's not really out on his own. So if we follow me, he's going to get himself emancipated. Hmm. That is OK. That's quite the vocabulary. Where do they pick this stuff up? Anyway, like we don't want to have that conversation. But like, you know, there's all the adults and the traffic. I'm worried. I'm too worried to let him go off on his own. We just moved to the city. We don't have any acquaintances here. So we figured we should ask a tailing professional. Please tail my son. I don't care what it costs. I can't let him go unsupervised like that. My heart couldn't take it. Yeah, I totally get it. I mean, tell her they just they started the conversation saying he just turned five. So unless that's just a lie. That's not what this is for some reason. I'll take the case, and I have enough experience with tailing that you won't have to worry about emancipation. Thanks, I appreciate it. Here's a picture of Toru. Looks like one smart little guy. Okay, he's... He's an actual child. He's quick. He's so quick on the uptake, it's scary. You're gonna have to be real careful out there to avoid a suspicion. Good to know. I... I don't worry, I think I can tail a child. It's not like he's going to be precocious and erratic and this is going to be like an actual boss level tailing mission or anything. Because literally, why else would they make you wait until the final chapter of the game to do it? Unless this is going to be completely off the wall. He'll have eyes on him the entire time he's out on his own and you won't even know it. 
that's good to hear. Choru's ready to head out now down Isazaki Road. His job's to buy some bread at Pocket Cafe and then go right back home. He's a tale from Isazaki Road to Pocket Cafe and back. That's not even very far. When you're ready, I'll call my wife. She'll let him out of the house. Should I call my wife so my son can get ready for his errand? I'm ready. Hi. Like, there's a lot of wild directions this could commence the operation. Everything's moving along exactly as conceived. Now we play the waiting game. I think I figured out where the kid got his vo vocabulary. All right, I should return home. I want to see Toru before we leave so he knows I'm not tailing him. Best of luck in your endeavor. <laughs> Kaito? Hello? Pretty interesting gig you got there. Were you here this whole time? Well, die yourself! I only stopped in for a bite. I think I'll join you on this case if you don't mind. Really? Oh! Oh! The problem's not going to be the kid. It's going to be Kaito. A much dumber and less predictable entity. Oh. Yeah, I'm good with kids. And I mean, all we're doing is tailing the little guy, right? Watching kids do grown-up shit like errands is pretty amusing. I love when they do that kind of stuff on TV. Oh, yeah, Yuni Higashi used to walk to that one show back in the Matsugane family office all the time. Well, let's bounce. The <sighs> coward is going to be leaving soon. That's not his name. Yeah. 100% Kaito is going to make this more complicated than it needs to be. And I'm starting to get nervous. Uh. <laughs> and there's a... And this is a, b a big first step for the kid. All sorts of stuff could go wrong. He could get lost. He might trip and eat it. See a kid to come through the other end of something like that with a big grin. It's pretty great, you know? Better make sure I do a good job as guardian angel here. Ah, he's so wholesome. It's pretty much a straight beeline from the cafe to his place. I'm sure he'll be fine. There he is now. Big man hitting the streets. Okay. Where's where's Kaito? Where where's where it? Oh, he's already in. Okay. Why the hell is he going to Yoshinoya? Oh, he's not. He's just okay. Yeah, he's just going around looking at everything. Nobody here, don't worry about it. Yeah, no, this is this is totally fine normal stuff so far. This is a kid being a kid. He's out on his own. He wants to look at all the stuff. He's behind the pole. We're not losing him. Okay. Why, why would I stand here in the middle of everything? Tailing complete, apparently. Okay. What? <laughs> like, why do we need to stand in the... We were doing fine. 
Why do we have to go to the red box in the middle of the street to advance the story? <laughs> yeah, bye. That was close. I know what, where, what, what are you standing in right now? What is this? What are you doing? What is this about to be? Now his dad warned us, but this kid's got eyes like a hawk. Oh. What are our faces in right now? We're not busted just yet. Let's just uh. keep after him. Yeah! I'm very happy about this. Yeah, I think that's actually, I think that's actually the hook of this, of this side case is we're idiots. This is the most simple and straightforward thing. And the people bringing hijinks to it are actually us. Mm. We're, uh, uh, well, hell, my head is stuck. Is your head stuck? Yes, I am also stuck. And I've got the short one for kids. These are for kids? I guess that's why I'm stuck. No, yours is for an adult. You're just a very large adult. It's one of those things for a parent and child to get pictures with together. Are you saying I have a large head? We don't have time to do a bit. All right, so what do we do then? We have to pick it up and tail the kid. Okay, we found it. God damn it. Kaito-san, Yeah, no, nothing this no, this is Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Shut up! Literally, you. This is the worst game of red light, green light I've ever seen. Ah! Your hands are. Nice muscles. Oh, right. Got to focus here. That was close. What do you mean by muscles? Yeah, I don't know. They don't even know what's on the other side of the poster. Hope it's nothing too weird. Let's go before we move them. We lose them. What? Yeah, no, but I experienced that for the first time the other day, actually. And I had heard that they were testing that out. They, like, announced it. And then everyone was like, what? That's terrible. That's really awful. Why would you do that? And then they were like, okay, test over. And now it's just back, I guess. Fair enough. Thank you. Um, anyway, fixed. so we're, we're doing this now. Are we busted? Nice muscles again, still. Uh, yeah. Is is this gameplay? Am I like? Tavo, more to hurry up, Arkenenoga. Miushinatchimozo. 
I wasn't pressing any buttons. Yeah, I'm actually supposed to be... I'm actually controlling this. Okay, at no point did the game express to me that I was going to have control over that. I was watching it like a cutscene and didn't realize that it wasn't. Didn't realize that it wasn't until I until I started getting repeat dialogue. Oh. Well, we made a really good team there. If the private eye gigs ever dry up, we can hack it as living billboards. That's not a thing. Well, it kind of is, but not like this. Probably won't do that, Kaito. Looks like he got what he needed. Should be smooth sailing from here. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Like, really? Like, what kind of human? Look what we have here. We'll just take this off your hands for compensation. Give them a dead-eyed stare. Give them a demonic grimace. Whoa, what the hell's that? Are you idiots for real? Right, I need to go home. So are we just not going to talk about how you got out of the sign or? Well, it ha maybe we'll get to that when we get to it. At least that's over with. Now we have to figure out what to do with ourselves. We gotta get this thing back where it belongs. What are we gonna do? Maybe, we all right, so we're gonna grab some butter. Watch over Toru while attached to Kaito. Excellent. Brilliant. Mwah. Yo, for real, though. Mm. We're not getting this thing in the elevator. Uh. Yeah, I probably should have thought of that. Uh. Can't really use my phone either. Stuck like this. Shit. Help! Please help! <laughs> Just... Just walk away. Just turn around, pretend you didn't see it. Huh. Or, well, better go eat my ice cream before it melts. Hey, come on, man. <sighs> no, you give me a break. This is not real right now. It's. I just want to ask one thing. So, like, they got busted by the kid, right? So, that's... That's fine. 
So they, they ran and went to hide behind something. Why did they specifically hide behind a thing where their faces poke through? And if they were going to hide behind this, why would they just not put their heads in? Isn't the idea to have your faces not be ex it, like exposed? Mm. All right, let's get some soap. It helped. I mean, he's in the he's in the kids one. So, like, I imagine he's been doing the whole thing with his back hunched over like this. It's probably very uncomfortable. I'm going to put this back the sooner. I never have to look at it again, the better. Hey, this is Yagami. Hi, it's me. Thanks for watching over my son. He just got home safe and sound. He's going a mile a minute. Tell us all about it. Cool. That's great. He did a great job. Just he's just growing up so fast. Also, are you aware of the animated sign on Isazaki Road? Yeah. Toto mentioned there's a funny face sign on Isazaki Road. He won't stop talking about it. He's try, trying to drag us over to go see it now. I was just curious if you happened to see it while you were out, just so we know where we're supposed to find it. Uh, don't. I don't know anything about that. I was just folk. I was just focused on the mission. Well, we'll find it eventually. He's really over the moon about the thing. Anyway, thanks for today. I'd love to reach out to you again if something else comes up. All right, great. Call us anytime. Bye. Thor wants to see the funny face sign again. No. All right, that was cute. <laughs>